We want to thank our friends at Rider Justice for making this series possible. If you get into a situation on your daily drive or overlanding adventure and need a lawyer, give Rider Justice a call or click on the link below. Hey guys, it's the most exciting day of the week because we're here at the dealer auction. And if you recall, last time we bought three cheap Jeeps and took them to Moab. Well, this time we're gonna do something similar, but something even more fun. I've given the boys a simple instruction. First, you have to buy a Toyota. Secondly, it's gotta be under $10,000. And here's the fun part. Number three, it's gotta have over 200,000 miles. So we're gonna find out if Toyota really is the most reliable vehicle you can buy by buying three cheap Toyotas and taking them to Moab and doing, well, what we always do. Hence, one of the most reliable engines on Earth. I got a lot of metal okay. and a lot of power for my buck. No way. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Wow. So this works. A little bit of housekeeping. As you guys know, we are not dealers. So we've asked Brendan, whose brother-in-law is a dealer, to actually help buy the cars for us. Nathan and Tommy and Andre are gonna give him instructions on how much money he is allowed to bid for the three Toyotas that they've picked out. By the way, this would be a good uh, Moab car. Um, Land Rover, uh, but it's not a Toyota. So let's see what the boys are buying. Brendan, I've been looking around the lot and I found this Tundra that I really like, 2016, 100,000 miles. You think we can get it for under 10K? No way, Tommy. This is a 2016, are you kidding? These are one of the hottest trucks on the market right now. There's no way you're getting it for that much. All right, well, I found a backup car then. I found a Toyota 4Runner, third gen. Okay. Slightly high miles, 250,000. And I mean, that's a lot of miles, but it is a Toyota. Yeah, yeah. And we'll see it here if we, we win it. But I authorize you to go up to $4,000 on that 4Runner. That's close. You'd be surprised how valuable these forerunners are, even with that amount of miles. Is it nice? Does everything work on it? No. You got to uh, stick to four thousand dollars, Brendan. That's your all limit. Right. All right. All right. Four. Okay, Tommy. <laughs> Brendan, four grand was the limit. You said it was really nice, though. I thought you really wanted it. I didn't know what was going on. 6,500, it's got 250,000 well, miles. You have to keep in mind, we got auction fees, too, so you're probably closer to, like, seven. Oh, God, seven grand. For a 250,000 mile uh, forerunner, but they're they're super reliable, oh, right? Oh, yeah, oh, I'm sure. All right, yeah, okay. Hey, you stayed under the $10,000 budget, at least. All right, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, Tommy, so I gave you a $10,000 budget. What did you buy and how much did you spend? Well, I'm really excited, so I bought this Toyota 4Runner. Okay. To be honest, Dad, I haven't really inspected it that close, but it seemed like it would be in budget, and it was paid $6,500 before auction fees, so all said and done, it's gonna be about seven grand, and it's got 251,000 miles. It's a 1999 third gen 4Runner. You know, why are these all the same kind of silver color? Yeah, they're... <laughs> they make them only in one color? They're all the same champagne um, they are. kind of old person color. Yeah. But it's got the rear diff lock. Okay. It's a limited, so it's got the leather interior. Luxury. Yeah, this thing is luxury. All right, well, let's see, uh, <laughs> let's see what the boys think about it, okay? Yeah. All right, folks, welcome to the 99 Forerunner. Let's see if it starts. Sort right, of? It starts. Tommy, already I have a problem. My head is touching the ceiling. Well, you're not going to be in the back seat, so what's the issue? I don't know, it's just small. Hey, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, riddle me this. Why are you using the banana as deodorant for the car? You Normally what we do is get like uh, a bar of soap. Yeah. Put that, it out of the sink. That is or, interesting. Banana. It's a it's an eco-minded foreigner is what we have here. Yeah, so it makes it smell like bananas in here. It's awesome. So 250,000 gentle miles, I'm sure. Oh my God, the air conditioner works. I think it does, Nathan. Yeah, well, wow, that's it's pretty good. That's Cracked winch in the windshield. Let's see if this works. The sunroof. No way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Wow. Sunroof works. AC works. Radio. Uh, ish. Somewhat. Hmm. What yep. is that sound? Is that you? 
Yeah. I'm not farting. No, I think it's just a fan. Just change the fan speed. The fan speed. Nope. Oh, it's the antenna. It's oh, the antenna. Okay. Oh, the <laughs> well, it's okay anyway. I mean, you're going to be listening to um, cassettes. Barry Manilow or whatever you listen to. Oh, it's a CD player, too. There's an ashtray in the back. I have cup holders. Oh, my goodness. And I've got a banana peel. Oh, the rear window. Let's see if it goes out. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh. It does go down. Oh, look at that. Nice. Wow. And Andre, I got one cool feature. What's that? A rear diff lock, baby. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Just, just wait until you see my beauty. Look at that, 3.4 liter. Stick. Thank you, Andre. The mighty 3400. Yes. This, uh, of course, it's good to do a post-purchase inspection. Whoa. And it has oil. Look at that. Pretty clean. So Roman gave us ten thousand dollar budgets, yeah. and I, I figured Sienna. You know, of course, Sienna. That's the only answer. See it? You want a hybrid minivan? No. Aren't we doing off-roading, Andre? <laughs> no, no. I'm a truck guy. So okay. I found two Tundras. Okay. One is a 2008, and I'm nervous that 10,000 is not quite enough. So I have maybe even a backup plan. It's okay. like the older Tundra. Okay. I'm giving you $9,500 budget. So 95. You, you could push it. All the, all the way. So so pretty much you want to go full bore and try and get this, oh, you said it was an 08 Tundra? Yes. Okay. It's a 5.7 liter big, big Tundra. Okay. All right. I'll try and get it for you. Okay. Let's see if we can do it. So that's a dangerous strategy on the part of Andre because we need some money left in the budget to actually be able to fix some of these vehicles. So, you know, if Tommy buys a car for, let's say, 4000 then he'll have $6,000 left to get it fixed. If Andre spends $10,000 on a Tundra, and if it takes a dump, it's going to be interesting. Plus, there are auction fees, and those can be anywhere from $500 or more. dollars. Well, remember, $10,000. Okay. Let's take one. I don't want to be the first one to bid. Keep going. I mean, I need to. Oh, look at that. 10K. Right on the nose, on. I was so scared, man. I gave you a $9,500 budget first. And then it creeped up and it kept going fast. I thought we had to go over 10. But, uh, and thankfully, you, we didn't have to get you in trouble with Roman. We got you <laughs> right at that ten thousand yeah. dollar mark. Plus fees, though. Yeah. So um, I mean, if you factor in fees, you're going to be a little over ten. So but, if I buy Roman lunch, we could be all right. Yeah, that'd be a really nice lunch. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So what'd you get, Andre? I got a lot of metal okay. and a lot of power for my buck. All right. Yes. Very excited. Yes. What'd you get? I got a 2008 Toyota Tundra with a big 5.7 liter V8 and, well, it has only 224,000 miles. So how much did you spend on this? This feels more than 10. Uh, 10. So we got to talk to you. You spent 10 and your budget was 10. The problem is with auction fees, it's going to be like 10, seven. So now you owe the company like five, 600 bucks. Uh, you I, know what I was thinking to do? Yeah. I was going to paint it myself, <laughs> trying to work it off. You know, <laughs> uh, I'll paint it. Um, how, about this? how about this? You wash cars for the next week. All of them? Yeah. All the ones before you review them. Okay. All right. Deal. All right. Fair enough. All right. Let's see what the boys think of it. Wait, my seat has a mind of its own. Hold on a second. Oh, no, no, actually, you should keep that on video. More importantly, they should see how you... Apparently, that is alligator that's used on that side of the seat. Oh, yeah, it is alligator. So, this is kind of greenish exterior. And it's a crew cab. Look at how much space Tommy has. I have to say, Andre, you bought the limo back seat of the three. This thing is so comfy back here. I just noticed the problem. I forgot about this. But, I have an airbag light on. Okay, let's not hit anything. Um, and, and I also have a TPMS tire pressure monitor on. Total, Andre. You got by far the biggest engine of the three. Yeah, you did get the bigger engine. The big 5.7. People like my engine better, though. You'll see. 
And do you have the uh, the rear diff lock on there, or is this pre rear diff lock? Uh, I think I have many locks. Yeah. I have tow haul mode. Hold on a second. I don't think you have a diff lock. No, I don't think you have a rear diff lock. No, dude. I don't have no. it. I'm gonna have to use two feet, two foot driving. Andre, we'll say it's not bad for two hundred and twenty-four thousand. It seems sorted for driving on the street. Yeah, it feels pretty good. All I, all I have to do is lift it a couple of inches, put giant tires on this. Yeah, you have a budget money, for what? Yeah. Uh, no money. None of that. We're just going to take these things to uh, to Moab as they are and see which one performs the best. Yikes. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident compared to your limousine, Andre. Could you have gotten a longer vehicle? No, I don't think it's possible. But check this out, Tommy. The chrome is here and it's only slightly bubbled. And it's a good thing this is functional too. That's doing a lot. That is a functional oh, little. Cool. No, 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 it's okay. But look, the grill comes with the HUD. Well, so it almost came off in your hand, yeah, so that's <laughs> that's really good. Look how much engine I have. Look how oh. much armor all you have on. Well, they sprayed a ton on here. Somebody tried to sell it. Someone was really working hard to yeah, sell they, this. They thing. even armor all the battery, so the battery is clean. Well, that's why. It but this this is 381 horsepower, my friends. It was 381 horsepower. You wanna, you wanna pop the uh, oil on her? Let's see how it looks. In the I think it might be on this side. Oh yeah, nice. Let's see how your oil looks. You wanna clean it and dip it again? It looks Ooh, like well, they recently. Actually, it looks it's good. Decent. It's pretty light it's color. Decent. It's pretty good, Andre. Yes. The I Force 5.7. It's working well. What do you have to say there, Dad? Oh yeah, there's a slight. Oh, well, 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 Roman, what are you doing? Well, I'm just pointing out. I think uh, Andre took out a citizen recently. I, 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 I can buy some bolts. That's fine. That's okay. some tie wraps, bro. That's okay. That's what everybody else does. Andre, what did someone hit with this thing and not put it back together properly? That's okay. Uh, it really is. It's all good. We can pop uh, that pen for you. It's fine. So, let's see. Broken. Broken. Really broken. Broken. Well, I need to polish my headlamps. Oh, at least the antenna is properly secured here. No! Things are not as good as they once seemed, Andre. All right. Sequoia is going to have to do. I okay. can't get what I really want, which is a Land Cruiser. So I get the fatter Land Cruiser, which is okay because, yeah. So we need to find one, and I think we found one. Right? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So... Well, I think, here's the thing. The Sequoias, I think, are really underrated compared to the Land Cruiser because you can get it really cheap. Very cheap, and that's what I'm hoping for. So I was hoping for a $3,000 one, but I don't think I'm going to get one. Uh, no. Or four or five. So maybe seven or maybe eight? Eight? You sure? I mean, well, KBB. You, it's really nice, right? It's yeah. a really nice Sequoia. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try and get it for eight for you. All right, so just a little bit more than yeah. I, I'm sorry. I figured you weren't going to cry over seven hundred and fifty dollars. I mean, we went to you said eight thousand, right? Or did you say seven? I forget. I, I said eight. I said eight. Okay. I, said, I said eighty-seven actually. So oh, okay, there yeah. we go. So we're okay. Now, little secret. I actually went up to the person on the floor before the auction. I said, "I'm buying that Sequoia." So just look at me when it comes across. And what did he do? So he came, looked right at looked you. right at me, and I said, "I could do this all day. Come on." All right, my man, so what did you get? I want you to know that I was finally in the middle instead of spending the most for yeah, once. Yeah. So for $8,700, give or take with some peas, I got that. That is a lot of uh, rusty truck. That's not rusty, what are you talking about? I think it's in primo condition. Uh, it's a little rusty, dude. This is, oh. It's a little rusty. Uh, that is surface rust, and that is actually supposed to be there. It's by design. Okay, all right, so Toyota engineer this. So it would only go to one spot and rust. <laughs> How Very the, easy to how fix. About, how about the rust at the door here? What door? Oh, that that's... Well, as you can see, it's not really affecting the, the structure of the vehicle. No. And, you know, I noticed that you did get good tires. And how yeah. Many, okay. How many miles on this bad boy? Uh, it's like 220-something. 220 210. 
210,000, so I am actually less than both the guys. And I'm in the middle in terms of pricing. And I hold the most people, and I have the best engine. The 4.7 is known. I was going to, all right, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll let you and Andre argue that one out. Okay. Uh, let's see what the guys have to say. All right. What? Oh. So uh, it's a battery issue. Come on, it's not like we don't have those issues. All right. All right. Let's so, go get the jump pack. Yeah. Brendan, bring on the jump pack. Oh, yes. At least the battery's on this side. <laughs> All right. 4.7 liters, huh? Big motor. There you go. Yes. Hey, Tommy, can you switch it to French? <laughs> yeah. Then no, let's not do that. Francais? Wow, Nathan, you got a factory navigation head unit. In Whoa. Here. This is limited. This is loaded to the max. And, and look, Nathan, you, you even got a DVD player for me. Got a look. locker. See what I see here too, Nathan? Yeah. Heated seats. That's right, baby. Power mirrors, height controls. I wonder if you have like the height adjustable rear suspension. Yeah. This thing that's, is nice, Nathan. That's amazing. I told you. Except guys. lots of fake wood, Nathan. What's up with that? Like you don't know, Andre, you love the fake wood. I think you deliberately have those stickers of fake wood that you put in cars that you own. Ooh, it yeah. says it says capped bottles only. So I cannot have an open container. You've got that bulletproof 4.7, which some people think is the best engine Toyota's oh, ever no, made. No, it's proven. It's a proven fact. It's it's like water's proven to, to quench your thirst. The 4.7 is proven to be the most reliable engine Toyota's ever built. Hence, one of the most reliable engines on earth. I'm trying to get you out of four high here. There you go. You're in two wheel drive. Four wheel drive works. Oh, Nathan, this thing is comfy. Smooth and comfy. This is built to lull children to sleep in minutes. Soft suspension, giant, huge. Sunroof. Look how big that is. And yes, it works apparently. Slide that open. So the little tiny bits of rust really can be just discounted. It's like okay, that's how you got it for so little. But here's the important part. So I little? Show you. No, no, no. This is it. Now here's the important part, cameraman. I want you to focus just outside of this vehicle to that blue one over there that's being obscured by the white one. Okay. Oh, Tiguan. No, no, not the Tiguan. That! That is a Land Cruiser. Yes. I could not afford a Land Cruiser. This is a discount Land Cruiser. You're welcome. It's a fat Land Cruiser, is the way I put it. It's a fat, comfy Land Cruiser. That's exactly it. And so I actually got a discounted Land Cruiser, if you look at it that way. How much did you pay? 87 Okay. The four piece. And most importantly, I came under budget, unlike some people who are exactly at budget. <laughs> And for a vehicle that is in absolutely outstanding shape. If we look at the amount of value we got per, the amount of vehicle for dollar, Andre probably got the most sheet metal, Nathan got the most comfort, oh, yeah. Yeah. and I just got the best vehicle all around. Nathan, we had some interesting developments. Um, we were crawling around underneath your Sequoia, excited about the new purchase, and we found not just a little bit of rust, but a lot of rust in a really bad spot. Yeah, so one of the issues is, on the body, it's not a big deal, right? On the frame, it's a really big deal, but there's something in between, and that's where we have a bit of a problem. The pinch welds, which are underneath the body, are really corroded, yeah. and it's not looking good. So we're going to see whether or not we can well, we have to get an arbitrator on this and see whether or not we can actually give it back. Yeah, so we're not sure if we're going to send it through arbitration. We're not sure they're even going to take it back. So in the next episode, we're going to have to wait and see what Nathan shows up with. In this video, we're going to take these three vehicles off-road here in Colorado and do a basic shakedown to see what the boys have bought. How did you do that? Well, my truck only weighs 6,000 pounds. That's what you did to your poor running board. My Phantom AP tires are not working very well. Oh, oh stop, 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 stop. You've landed. That's what I'm talking about right there. Enchilada, folks. <laughs> Did you fantasize about me in a luchador mask? I just think it fits your personality.